We're rolling. Right uh, now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm Zoe from the Metal Network. We're here with Colorado Thrashers Havoc. Woohoo! So, like, uh, you just got done doing, like, a headlining tour, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, how was that? Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, just a little West Coast. It's just a little Yeah, and then before that, you did a tour with uh, Mobile Creation. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good tour. It was freezing cold, but it was a good yeah. tour. <laughs> Um, so your new album just came out in March, so how was that? Yeah, it's sick. Uh, recording it was uh, awesome process, but, uh, the overall, um, say, the overall world of uh, the streets and stuff are out there. It's uh, pretty cool on everybody to make it's, uh, you know, continue to sell, so. Sweet! We're pretty pumped. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so what was, like, the main inspiration for you, like, the, Thing that made you want to pick up the guitar, pick up the drumsticks, made you like play some kick-ass music. Uh, I mean, I always, as a young kid, just inspired to drum. I was always like, banging on shit as a young kid, and just kind of led up to me playing drums, and I started getting into rock music because I had the better drum. And found metal, and I was like, holy shit! <laughs> For overall, like my family was really into Kiss, so I got into Kiss for music, like his music, and then when I heard uh, Randy Rhodes play, mm -hmm. and then at the time back Daryl. So that's pretty much my, you know, where the guitar started. For me. Yeah, music started at Kiss, guitar started at Randy Rhodes, and died back Daryl. So. I have a lot of questions, so. <laughs> <laughs> is... Can you tell me some of the challenges that you guys face, like touring? <laughs> There's so many of them. Um, <laughs> okay, th let's go with the top one that is really frustrating. Probably not sleeping. Yeah, no, zero sleep. Um, it, you know, there's there's a you know a few things that come along with touring that you have to accept, and uh, getting zero to little sleep is one of them. And, and just sitting in the van for six to ten hours a day. Yeah. Finding something <laughs> de finding something decent to eat on a budget is is also. Um, Kind of trying sometimes. Taco if, Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. <laughs> but uh, I mean, you can't eat healthy on the road. Is it because you guys spend so much time in your van? Pretty that's much. why you yeah, can't sleep. Yeah, we have sleep? to be on the road constantly. We um, could have a cooler or shit, something, but yeah. Um, Shows also end at like 2 a.m. You know, and we're out of the venue by three. It's you the know, only thing open is like yeah. late night yeah. food. Uh, <laughs> so it's, Taco it's, Bell. Yeah. Oh. It's good, but it's. Uh, <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> and that can be really tough too. With how many people in a van? Four. It's, four. it's, it's four. not two. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. We're not bringing along a bunch of people, but uh, I mean, in the future we would we would like to be, but hopefully, you know. So you guys we'll know. We'll be upgraded a little more. <laughs> you know what that means? It means you need to go out and support Metal yeah, by Havoc's yeah. album go now. Go out to the shows. Buy yes, buy t-shirts, shirt. merch. And if you're at home, you don't come to shows, or if you can't get to one of our shows, go buy an album. Do not download. That's right. And uh, if you do download, at least come to the show and buy a buy a, a shirt or something. Absolutely. You know? So you guys support your bands. Could we get a couple of liners from you, if that's okay? Sure. Uh, you wanna, you wanna do the metal network or? Yeah, well, okay. we can always edit the video, but yeah. Just say you're listening to Trisha Licious on MetalAssaultRadio.com. All right. What is it again? <laughs> Trisha Licious on MetalAssaultRadio.com. Yeah. You listen to Trisha Licious on MetalNetwork.com. Metal. Is it metal assault? Yeah. <laughs> metal metal assault. Metal. <laughs> it's all good. It's yeah, all yeah. good. Let's go. <laughs> You're listening to Trisha, and you guys can do it together too. That way it okay. might. You're this listening to Trisha Licious on metalassaultradio.com. Oh, metal all right, ready? Okay. One, two, three. You're, You're listening, listening to, to tri Trisha Licious. <laughs> 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 <Fuck. laughs> This is awesome. One, two, three. You're, You're listening, listening to Trisha Licious on, on Metal Assault Network.com. Network. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's radio. Oh, it's radio. Metal, <laughs> metal, what is it? Metal Assault Radio. Radio.com. Radio. Radio. Yeah. Metal Assault Fuck. Radio. Okay. okay. One, two, three. You're, You're listening, listening to Trisha Licious on at Metal Assault Radio.com. Radio. <laughs> awesome. Now, one more. We're Havoc, and you're listening to Metal Assault Radio.com. Okay. We're Boy. Havoc. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. 
We're Havoc, Havoc, and you're you're listening listening to MetalAssaultRadio.com. Fuck yeah! (laughs) Woo! Do you guys metal network? Um, Yeah, you can just say tune in to the interview with the metal network. Tune in to the Havoc. Tune in to a... Tune in to a interview with us on the Metal Network. Okay. Yeah. Do we do we say Havoc or do we I say would. us? I would. Okay. So I'm saying what about tune in. Tune, in to tune in to the Metal Network for our interview? Wait, tune in to the our Metal Network for interview. yeah with Havoc. Us. Tune in for our exclusive interview with Havoc on Metal Network. Us. Wait, Metal Network. Metal Network. <laughs> We're no longer Metal Network. Metal, no- metal, metal Network. Metal Network. Com. Right. So, what are we doing again? Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have to say .com, just Metal Network. Just Metal just Network. Page, yeah. Okay. So, listen uh, to our interview at... Hi. Listen to our interview at MetalNetwork.com. Sweet! We are Havoc. We're Havoc. Buy some fucking albums yeah, no, and shit. t-shirts buy and stuff. shit. Buy everything. <laughs> buy everything you can. Hell yeah. Go bankrupt. No, you got to go bankrupt. <laughs> so, what is, like, your favorite thing about touring? Playing. Yeah, playing the show. That's playing. it. There's, there's nothing that uh, nothing else that goes along with touring other than like seeing really cool stuff. Like, cause we've been, you know, cool places. You know, yeah, and, and meeting and people too. Meeting yeah, new meeting, people, meeting cool people. Stuff. But you know, it's it's all second compared to to playing, you know, and and stuff. So. How's the weather like comparing Colorado to Oregon? Sorry, uh, it's sunny. Sunny. Footage, no. sunny. Yeah. What people don't know about Colorado is that uh, it's sunnier than anywhere else in the United States, pretty much. People, th- we th- people think Denver and they think snow, but yeah, I mean, that's in the mountains. But yeah, it's but nice. it's it's really sunny. It's it's sunnier than Florida. So. Does like, Colorado have like a big metal scene there? Or? It's it's decent. We have a good following there and stuff. Yeah. So, and that's yeah. all that really matters. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of fans. Uh, there are a few. There are a few uh, bands, and but they're good. But, awesome. Uh, that's there, always there's nice if there's people, a few, but they're really fucking yeah, good. There, there's, yeah, there's a few. Like in the Denver area, there's a few good friends of ours and stuff. But uh, lots of fans. They, they like to support their bands. So. so now when you guys heard you were going to be touring with Forbidden, who, like, were you stoked or... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. I mean, what was that? I'm Is this the biggest... Please a, forgive me. M- like, millionth degree huge Forbidden fan. And uh, um, I'm really excited to like be sharing the stage with him. I'm a huge Steve Smythe fan. He's, Fuck yeah! He was in Nevermore and he's in Testament. And oh. He's such a great guitar player. So I, he's really big influence of mine and uh, just was... the Forbidden Catalog. Like I've been like Tim Calvert's a, f- a favorite guitar player of mine and then you know Glenn was, was awesome on Forbidden Evil too. So I had always listened to that stuff. Yeah. And we're also, also, it's our yeah. first like thrash tour. Like we've yeah, yeah. done power metal tours, death metal death tours, metal, stuff it's, like that. It's but a little better fit. Yeah. You know what? I would like to see Havoc on the next seventy thousand oh tons God, of yeah. metal yeah. crew. That's you and what? Us. <laughs> and, and we're okay. trying really hard to get on there. That would be. Wait. I went last year, and I will tell you this. I went. Well, there were a, a small group of bands, but to have Sanctuary and Nevermore. Yeah play on the same ship for me what sold me to go I'm, i mean i had i loved i love thrash metal yeah. i mean i'm a huge i love it but when i heard that sanctuary and nevermore were going to be playing i was fucking st- yeah. i mean i was beside myself i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> and now to hear that nevermore it's, is no more yeah, yeah. hopefully uh, we'll do more sanctuary stuff hopefully yeah Worrell and then uh, the rest of the guys will come back uh, and do some sanctuary stuff or we'll do his solo stuff but uh I'm pretty bummed out about that. Nevermore is one of my favorite bands, top five of all too. time, and uh, you know, ultimately got into uh, Sanctuary because I, you know, heard about you know, just going back. You know, I was a Cannibal Corpse fan first, and then I learned that another one of my favorite players, Pat, was in Nevermore. I was like, I have to fucking check this out, <laughs> and then I just listened to you know, like. I listen to Nevermore on the way here, so you know, I, I listen to him all the time. Jeff's. He's the one. man. <laughs> yeah. He is He's the great. man. <laughs> I, I had the pleasure to interview Sanctuary on the ship, that's, and that's it was really fucking amazing. And they were telling me secrets about the title of the new album because they are working on a new album. Um, but 
that was as far as Worrell would go oh, with any information. For sanctuary? Yes, That's for Sanctuary. Sick. That's sick. And uh, out of the original lineup, who's uh -huh. going to be on it? Is Jeff going to be didn't... playing guitar or is it the two original guitar They players? wouldn't disclose that oh. either. I oh, did shit. ask them, I'm like, you know, I, because you hear all kinds of crap all the time and you read all kinds of crap. I said, was the breakup of Sanctuary due to, you know, your record label personality differences? And he, he confirmed it was all of the above. Mm. Well, I heard, I, like, I, you know, just like anybody has heard this, that, and the other, like, I heard, like, the drummer or, or something like that went and started doing some, like, Christian band stuff and, uh, you know, like, all this stuff. Like, I, I, I had never really known why they broke up, but out of oh. that came Nevermore, so. <laughs> yeah, no shit. How long have you guys been together? Uh, I've been in the, I'm the newest in the band. I've been in the band since late September. Okay. Um, I've been in since February of 2010, and then the band's been a band since 2004. Okay. No shit. So yeah, it just, yeah. It just takes different members to get it eventually into a group. Make it mold yeah. and gel yeah. and... That's cool. What, when you guys were practicing, like, when you were getting together, now, did you enter the band knowing, like, everybody... All right. How did you get involved? I, well, him and I got into the band in a similar fashion. Um, we're both from the East Coast, okay. born and bred. Um, I'm from Virginia. He's from <gasps> What part of Virginia? Winchester. <gasps> I'm from Lynchburg. Sick. I have no idea where v Winchester is, but is Lin is it close? Very close. <laughs> okay. Very close. Forty minutes Sorry. away. <laughs> I get excited anytime. <laughs> like uh, Straight Line Stitch, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the lady who sings. I was born. Well, I was born in Virginia, but I was raised in Clarksville, Tennessee. Right. And that's where she's from. And right. I was like, holy shit! I've never seen anybody from Clarksville before. Yeah. yeah. In Oregon, yeah. Oregon. 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 <laughs> Oregon. I, I, Oregon. I, I, I do. I do that. All the time. But. Uh, <laughs> We, um, you know, we were just searching for bands. Uh, well, I mean, he searched uh, Craigslist. Uh, just tell him. Yeah, yeah, I just searched Craigslist. I mean, I was just kind of in some side bands that weren't working so well, and I just wanted to get into something more serious. It so happened, I just randomly ran into that ad. You're like, oh, this yeah. is my lucky day. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, dude sent me some MP3s and I ran the songs and sent videos back to him. And it's like a week later, I was You're moving to Denver. <laughs> so is that like the way it goes? I'm I'm man I'm I manage the band who's going to be opening for you guys tonight. I mean, I don't just say that's the way it goes, but that's just the way it happens. Yeah, I mean, us. there's there's it's you know, I, I found I found like because I had a band in Virginia, um, you know, uh, still do, but uh, it's really hard to come out of certain places and, and to and to really like, I mean. You'll have certain people who are really dedicated, and you'll have certain people who are, are stuck in like a family type of situation. And they're and dedicated, but they can't get out of anything. They're, they've already had, they already have commitments, and it's understanding and everything. But uh, you know, I had been doing my thing in Virginia, and um, with a with Monolith uh, from Winchester, Virginia, support them. They, they're sick. And they're great dudes. But um, um, I wanted to do more. I wanted to tour a lot. I wanted to. Board. I want to do as much as I possibly can, and uh, I had been a fan of Attic since 05, 06, or something like that. Did you and ever imagine either of you? Did you ever imagine yourself playing in Havoc? No. Isn't that fucking crazy how that works? Yeah. Like, it is really insane. You're a fan, and then the next thing you know, you're like, holy shit, I'm fucking touring. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. And we've been, you know, with all this comes uh, a lot of the really cool things, you know, uh, realizing our dreams so to say like you know we're endorsed by drum companies guitar companies you know just it's, it's awesome. something I've always dreamt about and, you know we're getting you know support from these companies and stuff so it's it's really awesome really really awesome it's like all the hard work all the nights of no sleep and <laughs> junk junk, box junk food, food. Uh, really pays off and uh, now, is there anything that you guys want to tell Havoc fans right now? Just keep supporting the band. Um, we're never going to uh, we're never going to uh, turn on your tastes. You know, we're never going to um, not be heavy. You know, uh, yeah. it, it's just the way it is. Yeah. We're always. And if you haven't seen it, check out the new video. Yeah, yeah the new video was. Yeah. 
Yeah, right on. It's covering fire, so yeah. I checked that Light shit. up YouTube. Yeah. Light up Singing my life. Light up YouTube. <laughs> Light up our fucking Facebook page. And uh, demand havoc. Demand havoc in your town! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys right so on. much. No problem. <laughs>